So up till here, we have this website, Dream Cones, where we can order an ice cream. In ordering our ice cream, we have various options where we can give toppings. We can define the sizes, cup, regular or large size. Or here, if we want more than one ice cream, we can go for num of ice cream. And when we press get ice creams, we can select toppings for each ice creams with their sizes. Now, when I click on price button, we can see the cool page over here. Now it's time to actually write some code. So let's start with join page. Here we have dream cones. Then an app is there with ice creams. Here we will open templates in templates. In ice creams, we can find join.html. So let's see how our join.html looks like. Here we have defined for cup size. Your cup ice cream is ready to eat. Your medium ice cream is ready to eat. Medium is regular one. And the large ice cream size is ready to eat. So if we see in our website, this one is your cup ice cream is ready to eat, your medium and your large ice cream, which is in joint page. Here we have nice little save $20, which looks nice, but unfortunately it is on large ice creams. So how can I save $20? So it will be with coupon. So we can save $20 but that is for the first time or when we enter that coupon. So here, when I press on pay button, it is not redirecting me to any other page. So in this video, we will be going through how to make this pay button active. So for this, I'll go to PyCharm in join page where I can see this href is empty. That's why it is not redirecting. So let's write some code over here so that it will redirect me to page checkout. When I open this checkout, it will be going to this page. So here in join.html, I'll start writing with curly braces. Here I need to write percentile and then URL. Now I need to send the user to checkout page. So I'll write checkout within the quotes. Then after coming outside the braces, I'll write question mark price. So up till here, we talked about we want to send our user. Well, we want to send them to the checkout page. So here we have written URL checkout. So if we go to URL.py, here we have join checkout everything defined over here but along with this not only we want to send them to checkout but we want to specify to checkout that we are specifying this for cup size regular size and for large size so here i'll go to join page and here i need to specify price is equal to this is at last, so I'll write large size. Now I'll copy this and we'll paste over here in medium size. I will paste once again with the quotes and here I'll write this for medium ice cream as it is written over here. So I'll copy and paste over here. Then I need to define for cup size also. As this is for cup size. Now with this in place, we will save this and we'll go to our website. But before this, we have this pricing.css. If I open this, you can find the CSS for HTML. So you can copy this from here or rather I'll give you this code in description below. 
Now after this, I'll take this pricing dot CSS and will paste over in static folder. Now let's go to website. Let's refresh this page. Here everything is same. Here we have your cup ice cream, medium ice cream and large ice cream. Now when I press this pay button, it is redirecting me to the your cart page, which is our checkout section. This is checkout.html where I have defined for coupon section where I'll give any promo code so that it will deduct the price from here. Here I have defined for $5. So the same I'll make change over payment section also. Here I'll write $5. So let's make change right now. Here in join.html, I'll write $5. Let's refresh the page. And here we got save $5. When I click on pay button, it is redirecting me to checkout page where I need to give a promo code so that we will get $5 deducted in our large ice cream. Let's check out for medium ice cream also. It's working the same. So here right now we have coupon for large ice cream but maybe in future we can get coupons for cup size or medium size. That's why I have defined for three of them. Now with that in place, let's go ahead and start prepping for our next phase of the site here which is whenever somebody wants to buy a subscription we have to make our customer a subscripted one. So for that, we need to make a customer account, account for them. And this is different from a user object. So let's go ahead and go to our models.py. So when I click on models.py, here we have size ice cream. Here we will define the another class class for customer models dot model first of all I'll give the user where he can have one to one field so models dot one to one field where we have parameter user and on delete models dot cascade so here customer is going to come from models and the different properties here are first we should have user this is what we will be connecting them to user object and we will say models dot one to one field Inside of here, we will pass a capital user, comma, and then our on delete, which will be equal to models dot all caps cascade. Here I am getting user with red mark. So for this, we need to define from Zango dot contrib dot auth dot models where we will be importing user so this red mark has been vanished now our next step will be we want to add stripe id so i'll write stripe id which will be equal to models dot care field where we will be defining max length is equal to 255. Now we want to have stripe underscore subscription underscore id will also be equal to models dot care field whose max length will also be equal to 255. Next, we will be having cancel 
so that whenever we cancel the membership so i'll write cancel underscore at underscore period underscore and this is saying whether they want to cancel their subscription we can cancel using boolean field so here i'll write models dot boolean field and here default will be false and finally we are going to have ice cream membership and a membership also going to be a boolean so we are going to say membership is equal to 1 we will go ahead and a membership also equal to boolean so we have set this equal to default this is going to say whether you have a membership or not it will work so let's set this equal to default so with this all in place you added a new model this is going to say whether you have a membership or not with this all in place we will go to terminal where we will come out of the server and let's write python manage.py make migrations when i press enter it will give migrations for ice creams now i'll migrate it yeah i'll write simply migrate so there was just one file so it migrated for one file now let's run the server python manage.py run server so here it has run successfully great now we are in awesome position to now move on and check out our checkout page so for this i'll go to join and here when i click on pay button so here we got the same page but when i click on pay with card this cool payment section will be highlighted so the next thing that we want to work on is our checkout page so we will go to checkout.html now you can see here up to this point we can access checkout page we can access checkout page one thing that i want to mention is let's say that we are logged out and i want to order an ice cream when i click on price and i want to be a premium member of this dream cones ice cream so when i click on large ice cream this page should not be opened up so it should be opened when i am logged in that is it should open when i am a premium member of this dream cones ice cream so let's go ahead and move back to our code so for this i'll go to views.py so inside of views.py let's go ahead and move over to checkout function here we are going to require that someone has to be logged in in order to use this page so here at the top i'll write a decorator with login underscore required it is highlighted with red mark as i have not imported so i'll go at the top will press enter over here and write from zango dot contrib dot auth dot decorators import login required so now let's get back to our page and when i reload it here it is asking for login information so we will give our information so we will give our information username nancy and a password zango1234 as we defined earlier so i'll log in here so here when i logged in then only this checkout page will be available so this is it there is one last thing that we will be changing over here i want to show you how to try and pay for something if you hit pay with card here 
it will automatically get this cool pop-up but let's go ahead and move into our views.py and write a little bit of code for our checkout function so what we want to know is whether someone is posting or getting to this function let's do if request dot method is equal to post then he should be redirected to home page here redirect is highlighted with red mark so we need to go up and with render I'll write redirect hope the red mark has been removed now we will write in else part it will do the same return render and it should be go to checkout.html so this is where when request.method is equal to post it should automatically redirect it to home page so let's see how it redirect to home page so we will go ahead and open up our checkout.html the title as dream cones there is one piece of information that we want to apply inside of our checkout.html so here I'll go down this is the complete pop-up information we want premium membership and here in data key we want to access data key so for this I'll go to stripe.com and inside here I need to go to developers in developers API key for this API key you can see publishable key copy this publishable key and paste over in checkout.html in data key now save here come back to our page reload it and click on pay with card photo 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 this month will be let's say two 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 and we'll take it as two 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 let's click on pay we got the green check and look at this it will kick back to our home page so essentially what's happened is that form if it can successfully process our card it will go back to our checkout page and it will process through as a post request that's why we were able to redirect back to home page so that's it for now I'll be coming up with more videos on this so please give a like to this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and do let me know how this video is. So take care till then bye bye.